Hi, my name is Nick Govier and this is a video showing the suspected passes by Sebastian Vettel under yellow flag conditions at the Brazilian Grand Prix. There was one that was shown by Sky Sports F1 uh, during the race. I think it's the first time I've ever seen them cut away from the FOM feed to show their own replay, which seemed to show Vettel passing uh, under a yellow flag condition. Um, I'm going to show that that wasn't the case. That was a legitimate pass. Then there was a second one, uh, a video that was posted on YouTube, um, which seemed to show Vettel passing an HRT in turn two under yellow flags. And I'm also going to show uh, why that was a legitimate pass. And then I'm going to show a video of Vettel making a pass under yellow flag conditions, an illegal pass. And I've got his on board and I'll run through it. Uh, and show you exactly why. And I don't think I've seen that one posted or mentioned by anybody. So I'm not sure people are aware that it happened. And uh, to be honest, I only noticed it when I was watching the the, the Sky Sports F1 race rerun. Um, but riding on board Vettel's car, and I was only doing that because of the other suspected yellow flags, and I wanted to see what they looked like. Um, so I recorded it, and and then I spotted this this third one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show that one as well. I've got all the video evidence to back up all of this stuff. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to mention uh, really um, is how the rules work. So if you see a yellow flag or a yellow flashing light up ahead, it doesn't mean you're in yellow flag conditions. It means that when you pass that point on the circuit where that yellow flag is you will then be in yellow flag conditions so just because you can see something up ahead doesn't mean that applies to you at the at the point you're at on the circuit it only applies when you pass the yellow flag zone or the marshal's post where the yellow flag or the yellow light is uh, that applies again with green flags uh, if you see a green flag up ahead you're still under yellow flag conditions until you pass the point on the circuit where the green flag is. So that's just important to remember. The second thing is um, when the car is in a yellow flag zone, two yellow lights will appear on Vettel's dash, either side of his red uh, display on his dashboard. Two yellow lights will appear, one on each side of that. And that shows that he's in a yellow flag zone. And the moment he crosses into a yellow flag zone, his dash will flash the word flag either side of the gear selection indicator. So it's very clear from the onboard in particular when he is in a yellow flag zone and when he is not. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's go into the first video. The first video is the turn two pass uh, on an HRT. And we pick it up as Vettel is going down the start finish line. Um, he actually swoops across to the left here uh, because this is the start of lap two, the end of lap one, and he's giving his uh, pit crew a view of all the damage down down the um, the side of his car. Uh, it's not really relevant to the the pass, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, so as we go into turn one, uh, you can see this black board on the left hand side uh, in the braking zone. Now this board is a light board uh, and if there are any flags there's also a marshal's post there if there are any flags yellow flags green flags slippery surface flags that board lights up and flashes or stays steady or, and shows you what the the flags what the flag is you can see it's black at the moment so there's no flag no flag conditions at the moment you can also see on Vettel's dashboard there's no yellow lights on uh, so he's not in a yellow flag zone right now so we go around turn one and as soon as we come out of turn one, you can see the yellow flags start flashing uh, on the exit of turn two up ahead. Um, and the HRT pulls to the left as it's going to let Vettel through. Uh, now, the, the f you can see just to the left of the yellow flag, there's a green stand. That's the marshal's post. And there will also be a very, very difficult to pick out on this quality footage and uh, from these cam from these onboard cameras and also with the rain on the lens uh, but there'll be someone waving a yellow flag or holding a yellow flag um, at that marshal's post um, but the important thing to remember is you're not under yellow flag conditions until you pass that point on the circuit 
uh, and you'll see by the lights on the dash, uh, there's still not, there's still no yellow light there. So he's not under yellow flag conditions. So we roll it on and he dives underneath the HRT. Uh, and you can see here he's past the HRT and he hasn't yet passed the marshal's post or the, the flashing yellow light. Um, and then as he comes out of turn two, the yellow lights on the dash appear, the word flag appears, and now he's under yellow flag conditions. So that pass was completed before he reached the yellow flag zone. Um, as he rolls around turn three. Uh, so that was a, a, a legitimate pass. Now the, the video clip that was put on YouTube was so short that it made it look like he was already in a yellow flag zone. But I've, I've, I started it far enough back that you could see he wasn't. That was the start of the zone and the yellow flag, uh, the yellow lights on the dash give that away. Now the second one we're going to see is the, the Sauber pass, which Sky Sports F1 highlighted. Now this one's a bit trickier, and this is where they um, Sky Sports F1 got it wrong, uh, because the slippery surface flag was out for most of the circuit at this point, because this was when the rain started started getting heavier. Um, now the slippery surface flag is a red and yellow striped flag, um, which is held steady, and if that appears on the uh, light displays, then it's a steady indicator it doesn't flash the yellow flags flash um, that's how you can tell the difference the other way like i said is to look on the dash and see if there's a yellow light on um, that tells you if he's in a yellow flag zone or not now i've rewound this video slightly further than sky F sky sports f1 did uh, because i wanted to show more of the slippery surface flags before you reach the yellow flag zone um, and you can see one up ahead uh, it's on, it's steady on, uh, as I roll, it doesn't flash, it just stays steady. And then as we go through this left hand, you can see one on the right hand side of the track, another one that's steady. And you can see on the dash, there's no yellow light. So we're not in a yellow flag zone, it's just saying there's a slippery surface. Not entirely sure why the stewards felt the need to, to tell the drivers that there was a slippery surface. Uh, when they could probably tell by the, the fact that they couldn't even keep the car straight. I mean, just watch the Sauber as we go around these corners. It's all over the place. But anyway, as we come up to this next turn, you can see a flashing yellow light up on the left-hand side. And as we get closer, you can see a red and yellow striped flag and a yellow flag on the master's post where the light is attached. So that's saying that at that point, there is a yellow flag zone. There's still slippery surface conditions. Uh, but it's more important to show the yellow flag light um, to the drivers than the slippery surface conditions at this point. And as we go around the corner, it's kind of obscured by Vettel's glove, but the yellow flag lights come on and the dash says flag. You can see the yellow flag lights now. We're in a yellow flag zone. And then at the top of the hill, as we come up to the final turn, you can see a flashing green flag light. Um, so that's the point where the yellow flag zone ends. It doesn't end here, it ends when you pass the green flag. So the yellow flag dash lights are still on. We pass that green flag now and the lights disappear and then he gets a run on the Sauber and pulls up alongside and then you can see another steady light on the right hand side. And again it's difficult to tell um, on these cameras uh, but it's a yellow and red striped uh, flag that it's displaying. You can tell that because A, there's no yellow lights on the dash and B, it's not flashing. So it's a legitimate pass and you can see another another steady light, yellow and red stripe light there, another one there and as he comes on the start finish straight you can see two up ahead on the left and they go out there and there as they've decided, yep, the drivers are probably aware now that it's pretty slippery. Um, so I think that again uh, shows that it was a, a legitimate pass. Uh, the yellow lights weren't on on the dash. He'd passed the green flag and the steady lights were slippery surface track lights rather than yellow flag lights. So those are the two passes that I've seen highlighted as yellow flag passes and both of them weren't and I've shown why. This is the one that I don't think anyone has, has spotted. This is on lap three or four you can tell because the main feed, which is at the bottom right of the screen, is showing replays of the start, which they tend to do on lap three or four. Um, so this didn't go out on the feed, uh, and it only went out on the onboard 
uh, interactive option on Sky Race Control. Um, so let's run it. You can see as we approach turn one, there's this flashing yellow light on the left hand side. Uh, and as we pass that light, the yellow lights on the dash come on and the word flag appears. So we're now under yellow flag conditions. There's a Toro Rosso up ahead and a queue of cars. And we go around turn one, there's a flashing yellow light again in turn two, still under yellow flag conditions. We come around turn three, there's another flashing yellow light on the right hand side you see there. And as we come out of turn four, you can see up ahead on the left, it may be difficult to make out the colour, uh, but except for me, that's a flashing green flag on the left hand side up as we approach turn four. As I said before, you're not under green flag conditions until you pass that marshal's post, that that flashing light. Uh, so that's, and you can see also as you watch the yellow lights on the dash that they stay yellow until he passes that marshal's post. But despite that, he pulls out from alongside, alongside the red ball and passes it, and he passes it before he reaches the green flag uh, at the marshal's post and the green flashing light. The yellow dash lights are still on, but he's passed the Tyro Rosso. So that is a pass completed under yellow flag conditions, uh, which is illegal. Um, and I don't think anyone has, has spotted that, so I'm flagging it now in this video. I'll just run that again um, at full speed, uh, so you can you can watch it all unfold. There you go. Uh, that's two passes uh, that were flagged as yellow flag passes, which were which were fine, and and uh, one genuine, genuine, genuinely illegal uh, yellow flag pass uh, that that wasn't spotted. I'm not sure what the ramifications of that are. Um, I'm sure someone would would come up with with time penalties uh, and how that impacts the championship. I don't know. I'm just flagging the video. Um, shows quite clearly that that he was passing. Uh, under yellow flag conditions. Um, that's all from me. I'm Nick Govia. Uh, thank you for watching.